I uh, and I thought it was just me because like I, I went to hit mute and then I think I accidentally hit the pause button mm -hmm. and and then I just realized oh there's that was the pause button so I went to hit play and then it just like said oh this is this is not streaming anymore <laughs> yeah well I'm looking here at my mobile because that's a cool thing like when you have to, when you're streaming stuff on Twitch one of the neat things is that uh. Yeah, okay. I, I think I am live so far. Yeah, I think I'm still live. Um, yeah, it's back up. Yeah, because, you know, I mean, yeah, having something like this is kind of neat in conjunction with your mainstream like this. Because when you're looking at your, come on, scroll down. Like, when you're looking at, you know, the main, this is the Twitch app, up in the corner where you'd have your little icon, your picture profile thing. Uh -huh. If you're live... There's a little red button, like a little red dot, that says, oh, okay. like, "Hey, you know, you're live." You know, so that's that's good. No, I just think that right now, at least wireless is not super great right now. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I know. I'm like, I every time I tried to open it with my phone, it was just like, it's not happening. It was like, no thanks. Yeah. Um, um maybe it goes now. Let me see, because before, like, it wouldn't even. It wouldn't even show that you were stream. Oh, yeah, now it's going on my phone, so that's yeah. good. I'm not shocked if it's just a net thing. Um, I mean, because right now this is technically not even home, you know, home home. Um, but uh, you know, it's, it's just this is my sister's place right now. That's oh. uh, you know, play. That's the bed I'm just I'm just sleeping right oh, now. Oh, okay. It's more of a guest <laughs> roomy kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, anyway, though, but yeah, um, I mean, it's not like, you know, home is much different in regards to like, oh, it's such a great studio look, <laughs> you know, but, <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I'm going to take one step at a time. I mean, I know like stuff like, you know, those back screens and stuff, they're not exactly, you know, cheap. It's just more stuff to have to try to buy when it comes to trying to be a little bit more professional. You yeah. Know, streaming. So, and that, uh, and that will come. You know, like, um, I mean, if if any of us, you know, paid attention to like what, like, like Bear's been doing, I mean, it's honestly a progression. You know, started off real, like, real basic, and then as he went, as he got comfortable, as he got more into it, it was just like uh, things started to get more and more professional looking more and poor more and more professional working yeah. where it seemed like he knew what he was doing but you know i mean in the beginning he had no fucking clue what he was doing yeah, so yeah you know so it's 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 something that we can all look at and go you know what i think i can do that too i just have to i just have to put the time in mm -hmm. i have to um if if there's anybody i know that has some experience with this like I need to reach out to them because that's that's exactly what what B did, you know. So <clears throat> it's a good it's a good path forward, you know, to 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 look at and kind of model, you know, and go, okay, well, you know, if they can do that, then we can do that, you know, and and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, um, but you know, I think you know, and of course, one of the things I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get more into the streaming thing in general like i would like to see if i could start some kind of a show here um i'm trying to do i don't you know at least for the thread raider side of things i'm also doing like gaming stuff for my own channel and i'm trying to you know get that going i've made like like i think i said like to you guys a few days ago i made a, a bunch of you guys uh moderators so that'll be that'll help you know especially if i can get even just a couple of you guys uh you know in when I'm when I'm able to stream, um, yeah. Um, but I guess it also depends. Like, I guess I also have to try to figure out when the best time to stream is, because I think usually when I'm typically able to stream, it seems like it. I'm wondering if it's too early because I usually don't get a whole lot of people coming in to watch. Okay. <laughs> so sure. I mean, honestly, and that's that's. Um, that's one of those things where, like, I think, um, like, 
it, timing is a crazy thing because you know a perfect time on the east coast is usually too early on the west coast and the perfect time on the west coast is usually too late on the east coast um so you're gonna have that uh I know that's that's kind of one of those things that we experience right now with with our Friday night game. Is most of the people that we know that would want to watch it usually on, that are on the West Coast usually have to just catch the the video on demand. Yeah, because yeah. when we start, they're usually still at work, you know. Like, um, but at the same time, it's awesome because on a Friday night at eleven o'clock. Um, uh gmt britain time we have we have people that watch us in britain you know and can and can hang out for the whole stream and yeah. and stuff so i mean it's just one of those things and i think uh if if you put up something that's uh interesting compelling different um then you know the viewers will come eventually yeah. i mean shit we've been streaming our our friday game for like this is like what our we just had our ninth game technically but it's been like eight weeks because one of those was a one shot yeah <clears throat> and we don't have a ton of viewers still you know like i mean we really don't you know yeah um <clears throat> what's what's crazy is it's like uh the game that brought bear runs for dice bar on monday nights always has like a, like i mean a pretty sizable chunk of viewers in the like 60s 70s 80s number of viewers um even though i mean and not all those people are in chat and stuff like that but mm -hmm. you know that's that's the fun thing about small streams is is the the chat aspect of it yeah you know when you can sit there and chat with your friends and stuff yeah, like that and yeah. interact and stuff yeah yeah cause i think that that <clears> something <throat> i'm wanting to get started myself is like if i can get like say even a couple people in you know maybe and if someone can get the ball rolling chat and at least chatting and like because first thing i want to do like if i'm i don't know i'm playing dark souls i'm playing bloodborne i'm playing grand theft auto or something <clears throat> yeah i want to be able to you know say like oh hey look there's someone in there cool you know thanks for coming and then they're like oh hey how you doing it's like oh i'm good good how are you and you know if you could even start something as simple as that hopefully that'll be good because you know of course having interaction i mean it depends on what what kind of stream you're doing but like for me if yeah. you know if you're doing like video game <laughs> stuff if you can do like interactions like that and then hopefully, as more people come in, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> um, they'll see that, oh, <clears throat> hey, look, there's someone in the chat. It's a somewhat active chat. And maybe they'll yeah. be like, oh, hey, hey, what's up, everyone? You know, and, you know, hopefully that'll get the ball rolling on that. Um, now, which actually, I just thought, um, I mean, uh, this might be a little bit more complicated than I may be able to do. Just with my with my limited Twitch knowledge, but even though I could easily have my phone here, look at the chat on here, I think what would be cool is if there's a widget or something I could put like, you know, somewhere on the side or whatever, you know, like you see in some streams or like have one of those. Actually, because I don't know if you do you know, I doubt you know who Lobos Junior is on Twitch. No, no. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter particularly what he's doing. He he's you know does games and stuff, but. You know, rather than having like, you know, dedicated window on the side and having everything kind of, re, you know, shrunk down a little bit to kind of fit that window, he has this stream up in the corner, like upper right or something or upper left, where it like, it, it <clears throat> you know, like it, almost like a the whole transparent uh, image, you know, thing that I uh -huh. want to do with the shield. Um, but in this case, it's the, rather than being an image, it's scrolling text ch text chat that's transparent up against you know the screen. So <clears throat> that way you can, can that way you can have full screen and not have anything text wise or chat wise blocking everything except for just 
you know, the, the rolling chat as he's sitting there doing so. That's something I actually oh. may want to check out. Yeah, check out. yeah. Uh, the guys at Dumpstack Charisma do that um, when when they're when they have their games going. Uh, the stream they have like a, they'll have usually a little window off to the side that the uh, text from the chat will pop up into, and then and then disappear. You know, after a little bit. You know, and it, and it just kind of the so the chat information will pop up on there, and I think sometimes that's how, um, like when the guys are playing, I think they honestly have like a monitor in a section, um, especially where I want to say Josh um, is like the tech guru of the group, I think, and. Um, usually kind of monitors chat that way and but they also look at their phones too while they're playing but it, it is kind of interesting because when you see when you're typing in chat and you know there's a delay before the players actually kind of see what you're saying and then can actually react to what you're saying um the that little window is usually closer to their time so when you see your words pop up into that little screen there and then scroll up and then disappear, then usually that's when they see it too, you know, and that's kind of usually when they start to react to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because like I don't know how it's done, but, you know, like I said, I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what kind of relationship or anything like that you have with other streamers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, if I were you, anyone that, that, you know, that has like a good stream, mm -hmm. um, I would, I would go to them and just start picking their brains, mm -hmm. you know, cause there are a lot of people on here that do this and do this really well. Um, and especially in our community of D and D RPG Twitter community, mm -hmm. uh, these people would definitely help. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I know if I had, if I had the time to do um, more streaming and stuff like that, like I know that I could go, I could, I could easily call, you know, talk to bear. No problem. He would mm -hmm. give me, all the help, you know, I know there are a number of people that I could go and go, Hey, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious about this. How do you do that? Um, cause I honestly, I've never streamed before and I know at some point I'm going to want to do it, mm -hmm. but, and when that time comes, I know I'm going to start picking brains of, of people like you and Adam and virus and mm -hmm. bear and stuff like that. And the dump stat guys, you know, just go, okay, how, what do you do? And how do you do this? And <clears throat> um, because you'll be surprised, like how many people would be willing to help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think too, I think the more people we have <clears throat> in the community chatting, like, you know, how making like the network, like that Thread Raiders network. Right. And I yeah. think it'd be cool. Like the fact that, Oh, you know, there's me and there's, you know, TK and, um, you know, yeah, there's, yeah, there's Adam and all those guys, yeah. you know, that if everyone is like, and if you start streaming and everything, think of like all the different collaborations we could do. And that's, oh, yeah. that's definitely a good way to help get the word out about not just from as far as picking brains obviously goes, but in terms of like, <clears throat> you know, like both of us are streamers, you know, you could be like, well, you know, you're on my stream right now. And that's uh, and like if I have any any sort of audience whatsoever, <clears throat> people might say, oh, you know, who, who you know, who is this guy? You know, yeah, uh, who is this Matty guy? You know, like, oh, he he sounds interesting. I'm going to go. Some, you, know, you know, like maybe somewhere down below, I might have a, you know banner or something that says you know like specifically for this chat that says you know day going is chatting with you know so maddie was it game z games yeah games, games yeah, yeah yeah and it's like and then maybe you could like we could have something i mean actually that's something else i might need to look at too actually uh, I'm, I'm curious in on here uh, i think there was a uh, text uh, I don't actually, I have no idea what that does. Oh, actually, like, uh, if I go, 
Uh, let's see what uh, that does. I have no idea what the hell that just did. <laughs> um, I thought, okay, that, that was interesting. Um, well, I guess I'll definitely have to look more into that as to exactly what that <laughs> does. But uh, I mean, I delete that. Um, right. Okay, then switch back. But yeah, um, but I think doing an image, an image might look prettier anyway. You know, up in the like down below in a banner or like up in the corner or something anyway. But oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, but, yeah. but anyway, yeah. Back to the point though is that. You know, if we, you know, if I can get kind of my own audience and you can get yours and TK gets his and, you know, time has his and everything. <clears throat> if we're doing collaborations with each other, <clears throat> you can be like, oh, hey, you know, such and such is going to be in my stream, you know, later today or tomorrow or something or next time. Or, hey, guess what? I'm going to be on the such and such a stream tomorrow or later in, in a half an hour. Come check it out, at, you know, at this particular Twitch channel. Yeah. And think of how awesome that'll be for like everyone so i think if we can hopefully build some kind of audience you know individually and then come together <clears throat> that's even better well, yeah and better. yeah and that's definitely a way that we can definitely do that i mean that's honestly how other you know at least i mean i don't lot i don't watch a lot of discord i watch you know, I, I don't generally watch a lot of the video game play as much. Mm -hmm. It's like if if I have if I'm like, oh, I I have the time, um, and I see that like you or Adam or whoever, you know, Bear Griff, whoever's playing uh like a video game, it's like, okay, I'm like, I'll jump in and, and say hi and, and, and stay for a yeah. bit. Yeah. Um and then I'm out. But I, I generally watch more of like the D and you know the the role playing stuff. So, I watch the dump stat. I watch bears dread game. I watch, mm -hmm. um, you know, if I can on the weekends, I, I try to catch what um, bear and and Quinn are doing and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but but the only thing that really keeps me in a video game chat is when the the person playing the video game is interacting with chat. Yeah, and see, yeah. That's, that's the kind of thing I want to do. If I could just get more of those people in, you know, <clears throat> not just watching, but actually, you know, coming into chat and like saying hi and everything, um, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. I mean, I would, I would gladly, you know, start chit chatting with them. Um, yeah. And, um, and like, and I, I always hope because I know, like, what was I think a few days ago? I think. It was, uh, I think it was TK who was playing Bioshock. And, you know, even though I was definitely kind of listening to some of the stuff he was saying, of course, but I think because there was like, God, oh man, there was me, there was, there was, you know, chaotic, there was. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, there were yeah, a ton of people yeah, in there was, and stuff yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah Lucretia was in there and, yeah. you know, all those people and like, you know, when the, the chat was just going boom, boom, boom. You know, I mean, you know, a few lulls here and there, but for the yeah. most part, though, it's like, you know, you have, you know, a fairly de somewhat decent flow. And see, the, even that, that's something that I hope to get, you know, at least start out with, you know, I can't expect, you know, boom, boom, <clears> boom, <throat> boom, boom, you know, for, for that super crazy chat. That's probably more if you're looking at hundreds, if not like, you know, maybe a thousand people watching or something. Well, but. well I think the, at least from my experience, um, the best chats are when it's really just like you're talking maybe 10, 20, maybe even up to uh, 50 or 60 people, you know, watching. Once it gets, you know, the more viewers you get, the more chat goes crazy. Yeah. And, you know, it's like I, I remember – going in and watching um, a, uh, what was it? Critical Role live and just how chat was like bananas. You couldn't even oh, yeah. read what was happening in there. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going like, why is anybody doing this? Because no one can read that, you know? But, yeah. um, um, but it's, it's one of those things like, I think with our group, um, whenever we're doing something like specific um ourselves 
the group is going to be there, you know, as, as many as they can, you know, I know that <clears throat> a lot of times people are streaming during the day and I can usually only watch this stuff at night at the most, you know? So, yeah. um, but I know that there are people that are, that, ha you know, are, it's better for them during the day or, or whatever. Um, but the group is going to be there just like everyone was there for, for Tyler. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that if we were to, to try and do that as much as possible for each individual member of the group, yeah. then that could definitely start to build an audience. Yeah. Um, and, and I did think that having a video with really good chat, not just like, like say, I mean, like say something like if you're playing a game, of course, if you can interact well with the game, that's always, of course, a good start. Yeah. But whether you're doing a game or like we're doing something like what we're doing, where, oh, you know, we're having a, a chit chat kind of a video, you know, that's great too. And if we can end up interacting with people on here too, that's even better. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so much better. And I mean, this type of, you know, this type of chat uh, that we're having between the two of us, you know, if this was something that we were talking about specific topics, it's almost like a video podcast. And, but the people, you know, that are watching could actually interact and yeah. put their two cents in. And we could just like when, you know, when we're playing our games and we look at chat and go, Oh, so-and-so said this and you react to it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, it's something that kind of adds to the conversation. And I mean, this is actually an interesting idea for like a kind of like a video podcast mm -hmm. um, that if there was, if there was literally a, uh, a, a a specific lane to to roll down and go. Okay, we're gonna be a podcast about this, or or a vodcast, you know, um, about this. Um, so we do that. That could be kind of interesting. I. It's just a matter of finding the niche, you know. My my personal experience. Uh, you know, before I even really got inducted into the Thread Raider group, um, I was, I was talking with Bear and he was like, um, hey, I, you know, I can't remember what we were talking about, but he said he was, they were working on something. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, he sent me the files to listen, and it was like the the two test episodes for the Thread Raiders podcast yeah. that they, you know, yeah. and I remember going like, "Wow, this is awesome! I really love this," and I I love that dynamic where it's like three people um, that talk about random topics. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, is that I don't think that we want to copy that. I mean, you know? but I was saying, I think that kind of a pod, that kind of a podcast. Whether, I mean, whether it's a podcast or a video or a stream, I think that I mean, there's so many discussional deals, and that's see, that's that's something that I want to do. I want to have you know a a conversational show. Yeah, and that would be really great. I think, um, especially. Especially if it's something where the topics are relatable to a key audience, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, one of the things I'm thinking about doing, I mean, on one hand I thought about, well, you know, what if I make everything strictly D&D, &D, or at least tabletop related? That's great. But it shouldn't always have to be just D&D &D or just tabletop or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I mean stretch it maybe some video games like even discussing it even i mean if we're going to go with this kind of conversational kind of stuff whether it be you know make it your tabletop make it your 
video games. Like, oh, you know, maybe make something like maybe something you heard, you know, some cool news you heard about. Oh, hey, did you hear about the Morden Kaiden's book that's coming out in May? Or, yeah. hey, did you hear about that new DLC for the blah, blah, blah? You know, oh, yeah, what do you think about that? You know, stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, more than just that sort of thing, you know, but like having like even just having discussions that's fine because i want things to kind of be able to free flow a little bit i you know if you feel like you know if i you know if i brought up you know say morden kaiden's to uh to tomb tome of foes here tome of, tome yeah, of foes yeah yeah i you know if if somehow you know we take you know 30 degree turn here you know we talk we're like you know we're talking about it for a little bit and we take a a little bit of a degree turn here a 20 degree turn here a 15 degree turn there and we and we're sitting there talking about pizza in the end you know after 20 minutes of conversation awesome <laughs> you know i mean that that's that's something that i would love to you know have you know something which is kind of free flow and just kind of fun you know the, you know, it's not like Oh, good golly! We have to stick to a very you know, strict regimen. We have to stick to a very specific lane because, you know, I mean, yeah, this I want to have some gaming talk in there, obviously, because that's kind of what, you know, well, that's that's I I don't, I don't want to say just Thread Raiders. Of course, we came together because of the Dean <laughs> community. You know, we came together because of kind of gaming in general. Yeah, and it's definitely a, a group of gamers. Mm -hmm. Um. Even even though you know some of us are uh, maybe more adept or more interested in in different types types of games, you know where yeah. you know the a majority of the Thread Raiders are very uh, video game oriented, mm -hmm. and that's that's great. Yeah. But yeah. there's also room for someone like myself who is more like you know, RPGs and board games yeah. and stuff like that. And uh, I think that could be, that could be a really interesting show. I think where if it's, if it's like games and whatever, yeah, you know what I mean? Just like games and stuff or yeah. something like that in that sense where we have maybe, a panel of three to four people um, and, you know, going around and talking about, you know, different topics and stuff like that. Uh, starting with, you know, like starting with something that has to do with games, something that's interesting, something that's different, something that's um, like, uh, what do you call um topical for the day you know or for the week or for whatever yeah and then let you know go. and then and then just kind of go and let the group talk and stuff like that where uh you know everyone maybe if it was something where we had a group of three to four people i would say this if it was like a video a video um type podcast like thing um like a four person thing would fit really well on the screen you know and it could be a dialogue a dialogue where you have try to have um people from different avenues you know um or at least people that have different uh something different that they kind of specialize or care about yeah in the in the gaming community a little bit more than they do something else or a little bit more than than other people might um that's that's not a that's not a crazy idea that's yeah. actually a I pretty mean, interesting well, idea see that that's something i thought about doing was yeah. one of my thoughts was like maybe you know i don't know if this would be I may or may not be every session because it depends on you know exactly who is going to join um yeah i was thinking like i would just call like you know thread raiders round table or something like that or yeah what was the name i think i said like uh thread raiders 
game speak or game creators geek speak or something like that you know okay where we have you know three or four people i say where maybe we have like oh there's you know of course it'll probably be me and time but then maybe like you'd be in there you know maybe one week or maybe you and someone else we have three or four of us you know there'd be you know, or like if time couldn't be there for that for that particular week, it'd be like you know. I of course I'd have to find someone if I can to like. Hey, like yeah. I'd be like, hey there, sir. You know, maybe you know I won't be able, time won't be able to join. Up, would you like to host for the you know, or at least co-host or whatever with me? And then maybe we can ask like one or two or more people to like join in and have our three to three to four person roundtable of you know game talk and. You know, and like maybe we could sit there and like, okay, here's maybe a one or two topics or whatever. You know, what do you think about this and so on and so forth? Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and and that's actually a really a really fun idea, and I think that if it wasn't, um, what am I trying to say? If it wasn't like literally specifically, like like let's bring up. You know, or let's go back to talking about um, nerdy POV or, or or what was the Thread Raiders podcast, where it was literally like these three people that created this thing. You know, if it was like if it was one or two people that created it, but always had at least you know like a group of three to four people talking about different topics and all this other stuff. Then it could be one of those things where you could literally, it would literally be a Thread Raiders thing where we, you know, where it's like a a table full of Thread Raiders, you know, like yeah. where it's, you know, almost always going to be completely um, represented by um, not just the core, but the 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 you know everyone yeah. else out there people, that yeah maybe people from the hive or something you know you know the the people out there that maybe aren't part of you know what what we call the core but you know the people like you know people like uh heavy metal jesus or or lord huey or someone like that that's yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. that is a thread raider um but they aren't you know, quite invested into the the Threadraider base as, you know, we are. But that would be, like, really fun. Um, you know, a, a Threadraider roundtable type show that that could be really kind of cool. Yeah. And I think after, you know, I mean, I don't think it would really take too much time, but I think that would be kind of a thing that could do well. Especially if... Um, if, if we were able to do it to where the, the videos would post to YouTube afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, if, well, see, that's, that's what I do. Like every yeah. time I'm streaming, like again, when I stream, every time I stream, you know, one of my game sessions or whatever, like I will, you know, go around to my PC, you know, go to, go to Twitch. You know, you go to the vid to go to that most recent video you just did. You know, do a couple click click clicks here, export because I because you can connect your Twitch account to YouTube and upload that video up to your YouTube yeah. and how and then just have it there. So not only am I you know you, so you're sitting there streaming on here. Anyone who's able to catch your show live, that's great, especially if that person is there to interact with and everything. If yeah, especially interact with the chat and stuff yeah. like that when, yeah and then, honestly and then yeah you can, like, yeah have them and then you can upload that and be like oh you missed a show well insert link here here's the show that you yeah. missed you know have have a good hopefully you'll have a good time watching it you know that sort of thing yeah yeah i i like i like the idea of a of a video podcast i think it's um because it, i mean it is kind of similar to a lot of the round tables that you see but a lot of the round tables generally that i at least i notice are usually specific to dungeons and dragons and it is a thing that is literally uh, a group of of people that have thirty thousand followers and are like quote unquote 
um, experts or something like that, which I mean, I don't think any of us except for, except for mage, you know, um, (laughs) could call ourselves experts in the game or anything like that. But I mean, that, that could be something really fun. Um, And I think if it was, especially if it was one of those things where it was kind of like a rotating group or, or just different, having different voices every week um, included would, you know, that would be really interesting. I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we we had a few other ideas too, you know, like say, like how, you know, TK apparently. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was TK who said that he's going to be doing these uh, uh, games. Like he's going to be doing these, the system spotlight stuff where it's, you know, the lesser known, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the the one shot, yeah, yeah the one, the one shot. shot ones, yeah. and like maybe what what would happen is like he would take the actual gameplay aspect of it, and like me and time on here, we would take the discussion part of it with the developer of said game, so that way the guy that let's say the developer of that game is getting. Uh, he's getting all this extra coverage from, you know, not just us discussing it. Like, so, you know, what, so, hey, you know, you're such and such, and you made this game called, you know, whatever, and so what's it about? You know, how do you do it? You know, what's the, what's it like? All that kind of stuff. And then, you know, just kind of interview him, you know, let him discuss what it's about, you know, maybe ask some questions, so all that, all that kind of stuff, maybe show off, you know, hey, hey, you know, here's here's the box, here's the here's the book, here's what the book looks like, or whatever, all that kind sure. of stuff. And then <clears throat> TK would then, like later on, either before or after, would actually play said game. Yeah, and that's that's that, a, that's an interesting thing to do. You know, tying things together. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the I mean the only thing. Is is that like we're literally starting from the bottom up, yeah. without any real, um, like any real backing or resources or anything like that to yeah, to make this something something like what they do out of Geek and Sundry or something like that. Oh yeah, um, yeah. But it's not it's not like it's not worth a, a try to do these things because I mean our, our group has um you know especially if you look at the core the core of the group most of the people on there have quite a few followers and stuff like that people that are actually generally interested in what they do and I think that if they check it out and they talk about it and if if we make our these these shows that we're talking about um interesting compelling all that other stuff then the you know the followers will come the the viewers will come but obviously when if with doing something like this from the ground up yeah it's it's gonna take a long time oh yeah you know, definitely. To, i mean yeah, yeah. i mean cause I, I i feel like but because there's as many of us as there is hopefully yeah. you know if we can unify enough and you know, if we spread the word of the thread raiders and we can spread the word of not just who, you know, who we are in general but we spread yeah. our individual names we spread our channels like in this case like Oh, like for me, like, oh, you know, Daquan Gaming, you know, on his channel, and oh, you know, Maddie Games on his channel, and things like that. Um, yeah, hopefully, you know, if we if we can stream enough like we're doing now, um, if we can do that sort of thing enough, and we share and we share enough of that, like, like if I not only share it on my own t- uh, Twitch, that yeah, hey, we're streaming right now, but you know, you do it, and then if like. Any of the, if we have any mods, you know, in the channel at the time, like, you know, whether it's, you know, Chaotic or, you know, whoever, you know, that person can then say, hey, come hang out with us at this particular channel. Because that's what we did when TK was streaming uh, Bioshock, 
It's like, hey, you know, come out and hang with us, and you know, it's crazy, it's fun, you know, come join us, you know, right, you know, and, and hold. If we can do that kind of thing enough, I think, especially if we can get to that point where, you know, if I, if like, if I'm streaming on this day and this time, and then say person B is streaming on this day and this time, you know, or if we can even just like say two people streaming on the same day, but like say if you and I were to stream on the same day, it'd be like, okay, I'm gonna stream like earlier but then maybe then you know since you would have the evening time anyway you'd be then be able to take the second shift so to speak so that way you know we're always constantly being able to stream and have content for people to, to watch you know whether it's for directly for thread raider the thread, the thread raiders twitch stream or our own individual thing because i know that the thread raiders uh, channel uh, should, in all theory, be auto hosting this as well, and that's always a good thing too. You know, yeah, to be able to do as yeah. well. So, but we should. We, I mean, if, um, I mean, if we want to use Twitch to help monetize things for uh, Thread Raiders in general, the the Thread Raider, um. Base, um, then we definitely need to create content that goes directly on that Twitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's got to be, it's got to be from that Twitch, based on that Twitch. You know, yeah. for that Twitch. Yeah. Um, otherwise, if and, and that's just and that's just if we're talking about um, making things more. Um, financially, you know, yeah, writable about um, this particular group. Um, and I think that may be one of the things that we might need to um, to think about and talk about um, in the meeting that we have is if we're going to be um, if we're going to be all doing our streams and stuff like that, well, that's fine. But if we want, if we all want as a whole to help build the Thread Raider Twitch, then we need to create content and stuff for it. Yeah. For it and buy it. For. You yeah. Know See, I mean? and, and that's yeah. the whole idea. Like the show that I am planning on doing, you know, like say with time, that yeah. will be directly for the Thread Raiders Twitch stream itself. So, you know, it's not like, I mean, of course, I may have my own thing like I'm doing now, of course, for my own sure. channel. But, um, oh, goodness gracious. Dog barking. <laughs> um, now, does somebody even hear something? I don't know. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, mean, I think like the whole idea is that. Like, you know, if I have this show for Thread Raiders and if we can get at least a couple more people doing something, you know, whether yeah. it's their own unique show, maybe we have, like, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know if TK is going to be doing this system spotlight, spotlight thing for his channel or if it's going to be for the Thread Raiders channel. But, you know, yeah, if we can at least get all these different kinds of things going for thread raiders, thread raiders itself, that would be great. You know, um, that'll definitely help. But again, also with the auto hosting that it'll be doing with like others who aren't, you know, currently streaming a show. Like again, if I'm sitting here, you know, playing like oh, I'm playing Grand Theft Auto or something. You know, uh -huh. if if so, if no one's streaming at that point, at least someone, you know, will have something to watch on Thread Raiders. At least, you know, I mean, yeah, and, yeah, that's definitely one of those things that we need to think about also is if, um, if we're all committed to the growth of the, um, Thread Raider Twitch channel, mm -hmm. then, um, whenever it's not being used, like it should be used if somebody can use it. You know what I mean? So that 
that it it is always growing and yeah. always doing always something. something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the whole idea. I mean, that's why, like, I have auto hosted on my channel, you know, that I'm streaming on now. And that's why the Thread Raider channel has, like, me throw because i mean i i was i just went to the thread writers thing on here and yeah it is auto hosting me so at least you know that like oh what's thread writers doing oh who are these two guys you know talking maybe i'll watch and see what's you know all that kind of stuff that if it's not showing something specifically on thread writers thread writers itself at least it, at least it definitely gives a good impression that there's a lot of activity going on and that's ultimately well, that's Gold. no, and that's that's very true, but to get to the point where you're like affiliate status mm -hmm. on Twitch, um, where and that's where you can start um, subscriptions and and bits and things like that that actually bring money in. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there that, are that. You know, that does require, like, quite a bit of gameplay on yeah. the, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's why, too, other <laughs> options include, like, say, you know, so, you know, self source promotion here a little bit. But anyone who is watching on the desktop version, if you were to look below where the uh, screen is uh, or where the stream is, you'll see a bunch of, um, you know, buttons and stuff. And you'll see, like, for donations and stuff uh, for, like, you know, my Patreon as well as extra the an extra life donation page which by the way you know i would definitely say go anyone watching this you know please you know go to right. extra life and and you know give to the children man think of the children you know think of the babies think of the babies um <laughs> but um what the whole but anyway the whole point though you know aside from that shameless shelf promotion is that if you go you know you can actually create um buttons like that and links so that if you go there you can um like you can help the person out the stream route like oh i kind of like this person so maybe i'll go to his patreon or something and i'll i'll donate a dollar a month you know and if we can you know and if you can get like you know 5 10 15 people doing that that's great you know then that's 10 15 bucks a month minimum that you're getting to help going to help keep going and i think that's something that we should also do you know for thread raiders but yeah but i think though that that's just another potential option you know for uh you know for doing aside from becoming an affiliate i mean so you know even if you know if you have let's say a loyal fan base but maybe it's still not enough you know to help get to that affiliate level even if even if yeah. you can only get to like say the partner level which is still really great but even the partner level even if the partner part isn't the greatest or whatever you know if what you're, if that's not quite what you're aiming for you know you could potentially have other ways <clears throat> of getting assistance from your viewers and of course that's all yeah. for the viewers if they want to be able to help the person out if they like the kind of stuff that you're doing uh all that kind of stuff so you know, it just, there's so I many, all these different options for, for that sort of stuff, you know? Oh yeah. No, I totally agree. Um, there's, there's definitely a little options there. Um, so yeah, no, this is good. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely going to have to do a little, a little bit more playing around with this thing. Probably, <laughs> um, I am kind of, I'm kind of glad we uh, were able to get this this Discord thing going. I'm thinking, especially if I could, especially at least with a two person screen set up, at least I kind of see kind of you know maybe some of the black bars where I can maybe put some banners in, or even some small small banners. Assuming that even if I actually one thing I think another option is to like get three or four people in here and see what that looks like for a four person yeah. Discord call. If you if, if I could even do a four person video conference. And if not, then, oh. then if not, then I'll have to, uh, then actually, if I can't do that here in Discord, as far as like having, per, you know, person, 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 then uh, at least, then maybe I can switch over to Google Hangouts, which, you know, if we want, like say three or more people, which when you're having that, um, you know, like say if there's, if we had like say one other person in here, we're all chatting on our own camera windows here. Um, whoever's talking, their window will automatically pop up 
and like if you start talking all of a sudden your window will pop up as the main screen and then if that third person starts talking suddenly they'll pop up and that's that's oh nice. so yeah that, that might be a good yeah option. i remember mm-hmm. i remember seeing that that test that test stream that you and and adam oh, did yeah. You know, yeah 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 and you kind of saw that like you know i had it what was cool is with that one was that like i could i could click specifically like on just me if i knew that there was something very specific that i had to say and that was going to be a little bit of a not a ramble but let's say enough to where i knew it was going to be talking for at least the next few minutes i could just click on here and click on my screen just so like hey okay i need to make sure it focuses on me for a minute so that you know, because sometimes if per even if someone's like <clears throat> or something, then 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 uh, then that person will, uh, will suddenly show up and you know it. I mean, oh, yeah. it's not a big deal, yeah. whatever. But like, oh, but if I know that, oh, you're talking, I, I can just click on you for a second and let you talk for a while, and then maybe once I think it's a good time to just, maybe if it's just us t- taking turns, I can just click back to like the normal thing and it just does the normal thing but yeah it basically will be that so if that doesn't work at least i know this uh the uh the hangouts should work as well um but i also want to look at that whole that whole transparent chat thing as well that's something i want to definitely look at as well. oh yeah yeah that's definitely something to look at yeah um <clears throat> anyway, though, uh, are you yeah. good bud yeah, I think I'm good so far. Well, you know, thanks very much for helping. And uh, yeah, of course. And I, and I guess, I guess, since uh, you know, this actually turned into kind of its own little stream to begin with, uh, I might as well kind of do, you know, a normal outro here. Um, anyone who is uh, was watching, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, uh, please follow uh, me on here. Follow uh, Maddie here. Uh, as well, uh, what is your Twitch? Do you have Twitch, by the way? Yeah, I guess you would have Twitch, wouldn't you? No, I have Twitch, but uh, my name is about to change in the next day or two. It's um, it's going to be the So Maddie Games with a Z at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, I I just I think it I don't know. At some point, I changed my Twitch to be uh, from So Matt Faust to So Maddie Faust. So then when I wanted to do the the whole rebranding, it said, Oh, I have to wait fourteen days or something like yeah. that and it's almost done. So yeah. now is uh, that is that Twitch or is that Twitter? Both. Oh, it will okay. be both. Okay, it's both. Okay. Yeah. So just so it we will clear be that up. <laughs> all it will be all those things. It will whether it's Universal, um, universal name. Yeah, yeah. Instagram, whatever it is, it's all all the same. Okay. Um and then yeah, and so, yeah, also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, that would be much appreciated. It would be fantastical. Um, so, yeah, um, any other uh, shout-outs you want to do as far as channels or any other form of... Oh, uh, yes, Facebook. We have uh, a couple of... Thread Raiders uh, pages. We have just Thread Raiders, and then we have Thread Raiders news and events uh, on Facebook. Uh, we do have Thread Raiders or at Thread Raiders at Thread Raiders on Twitter as well. Uh, we have uh, your Twitter that you mentioned, and then there's mine, uh, Daquin Game Army, all one word. Um, if you don't know how to spell that name, which is not shocking, just look at here at the, the Twitter stream or on the YouTube, depending on what you're watching. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, yeah, everyone, yeah, thanks for watching, and we will see you later and all that good stuff. And I will say we are out.